Alright, what's up guys? So, I'm actually, if you guys watched the last video, that was the junkyard video, I don't know if it'll be the exact last video, I might have a video on my C10 up before this. Um, but the last video that went up involving my truck, or anything related to my truck, or my, anyone else's truck, um, <clears throat> me and Sam went down in the junkyard, you guys saw that, I got like a back window, and I got a couple other things. Um, so, now we're going to go down, so now, the reason I got that back window and the intake and a couple other things that I did get that day is going to be revealed now, so it should be pretty fun. But now I'm actually heading over to meet up with Remy and Sean, and we're going to go check out a new vehicle that Remy is getting that you guys are going to love, and it's amazing, and I am so stoked, and let's just say Mater is getting a girlfriend. But before I finish my sentence, for those of you who don't know, this is my truck, as you guys a lot of you know, if not all of you know. This is Mater. Meet Mater. YouTube, meet Mater. This is Mater. So I got these parts in the back. Hint, hint. What do you think these are for? What does that manifold off of? What is this window out of? Think about this truck, then think about what truck we're looking at. Let me know down below what year, model, package you guys think the truck we're looking at is. The only thing I'm going to say is it is a bump side. It should be pretty fun. Let's go. <laughs> I noticed on the last video that I did at the junkyard, um, a lot of you guys, actually no, it was a video with the seat, I see a lot of people talking about me driving my truck my way, and that video is going to come, because I think I drive up there on the street pretty well, and I think a lot of you guys would love to know how I drive one. So, that video will come, don't worry. So I realized after the fact that it's dark now and that we can't see anything, so I'm gonna try to show this as well as I can with my phone's flashlight. But with Remy and Sean, we're going down to check out her new truck, not mine. I'm not getting a new truck this time, this time. So this should be pretty cool. We're gonna check this truck out and hopefully you guys can see it. If not, I'll show it on another time when it's like light out, but this should be really cool. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Yeah, can't see anything, but um, so we bought the truck already, and it's got a. It has the same issue that my '75 had, which is the faulty diaphragm, um, which is the accelerator pump in the Motorcraft carb. Um, and so we're actually, I have a Holly two barrel that we're literally just going to swap onto it, and it should work. So we're just going to get it on the street uh, real quick, and then get it on a trailer. We got AAA coming, which is great. And then once we get it up to Barona, I'll do a full walkthrough of the truck. 
but I'll just kind of film us just putting the carburetor on so you guys know what's kind of going on. Um, so doing this in this guy's front yard, just popping the camera up and swapping this carburetor. So let's get this done as quickly as we can. <laughs> so change of plans. Instead of putting my carburetor on it, which was the two row that was on my 302 a long time ago, if you guys remember that. I don't know if you guys can see that hole right there. Fuel pours out of it. You can see all the dark remnants of fuel. So, that guy is bad. Okay. So. It's got this gigantic camper that we're going to have a lot of fun with. Just kidding. Um, everything works. Windshield wipers work. Tested that. Radio kind of works, I think. I don't know. Everything kind of works. Taillights work. Headlights work. Brake lights work. It's got side pipes on it. It's got... Check this out. It's... I don't know if you can see. It's got long tubes on it with a terrible exhaust leak. Um, battery for the camper. Battery for the truck. And you're probably asking yourself, what's with the gray color on the core support? What's with this paint? Well, if you look really, really closely, you can see streaks. And these streaks are actually from a paintbrush. Because we were told that when... So this truck has been owned by the same person for 43 years. And when this was his father's truck. And when he was 12, when the kid was 12, he's not a kid anymore. When he was 12, they, the grandpa decided it was, or the dad decided it was a good idea to paint this truck. And so they came out with a paintbrush and painted this thing with house paint and a paintbrush. And that's what you see, all the lines, and then all of this, the streaking, the mirrors. It's a paintbrush, and yeah. So this is all original. So it's, um, we've gone through the VIN. It's a 360 with a C6 automatic, and I'm pretty sure a Dana 60 rear end, 373 gears in that. Um, pure white is the color this is supposed to be. So you can kind of see little bits and pieces of it. Um, we're going to hopefully try to power wash a lot of this off and see what we can do to get most of that stuff off. Um, there's a lot of cool um, servicing tags around here. The old documentation, which is pretty cool. So we're going to into depth a little bit better later. But this is pretty much a generic view of what we got going on. Um, it's got eight lug with a 16 and a half inch tire, which is terrible. For those of you who don't know, if you have a 16 and a half inch tire, they're extraordinarily hard to come by. They don't really make them anymore, so it's kind of a pain to deal with there. It's got a really straight grill. Um, got a couple cracks in the inserts, but that's really normal. The truck's straight as an arrow. I was kind of surprised about that. There's no dents. There's no rust. The floors are solid. Running boards are solid. There's a couple little rust spots in the door, but it's not a big deal. It's nothing like my truck. Um, little dent there. It says custom, but we haven't gone through the full VIN. Could be a, it's either a custom or it's a camper special. I'm pretty sure it's just a custom with a camper. We'll see. It's got a CV radio, like loudspeaker thing. There's a lot of cool stuff in this thing. And it has, what is it, 66,000 miles? 66,536. Nice. And the window's held up by a 2x4. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Quality. Yeah. It's got three tanks. It's got the behind the seat 16.5 gallon or 18.5 gallon, I can't remember. And then I think it has two 20 gallons inside. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. It's got some cool texture. <laughs> nice. See that suspension. Oh my oh. god. <laughs> his, face, his face went like this. <laughs> I would have probably died. Stop. I want to say thank you for that person. That was awesome. Stop. I was telling you. Scott, where's your phone? Oh, you want to take a picture of it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, doorknob. <laughs> 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 Dude, I'm pretty sure he's done it before. It's like you've done that before. Yeah, yep, there you go. he's doing his picture. No worries. Just take it. Hey, you're dirty. Come on. You're here. It's okay, it works. Come on. It works. It works. It works. Come on, baby. That's a long one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. I'm so happy I 
I filmed it pulling out. Dude, I wish you, yeah. you should have been on this side, on the back corner. Watch it all <laughs> shift. Yeah, exactly. Seriously, I think you better check to see if he's His face was camera. like... He was like, so we laughed, he was like... Oh. Oh, wow. What the heck? Yeah, not, not first radio. <laughs> no, not one. That's big. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it's on there. Everything hooked up? Oh, yeah. That's all there is to it? Super safe, bro. I yeah. got four chains on the back. I should be just two, but I put four. Good, it's good. Way. Yeah, I saw a little top heavy coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, be safe. I'm going to Lakeside, right? Uh, just yeah. a little bit yeah. further than it's Lakeside, yeah. Not miles north of the Verona Casino. Oh, okay. Well, that's ginormous. Oh, do you think he wants me to pass him? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I think he's just checking out everything held up. Ah, that, that, yeah, that is, yeah, that is. Alrighty, well, now we're at the track. Dropping it off, you can see. Nice. The back of the bumper like almost hits the ground when he unloads it. I get that key. We need to replace this. Is that guy live up there? Yeah. Try the original key. Oh, it's even got the original warning thing on the chrome gas cap. Now, Craig, if you're gonna snake anything off this truck, you're not snaking anything off this truck. This is the thing to take. <laughs> the cr perfectly chrome. No peeling chrome on the gas cap at all, with the original warning sticker on it. That says okay, Craig, I can't get it. Alright, I'm gonna give you the magic touch right here. Press the brake in. There, go for it. Is that so? Oh, I'll fuck you turn this thing on. Turn the on button on. Say something. <laughs> Say something cool. Oh, oh, demonetized again. <laughs> Dang it. It's got a speaker. <laughs> That's a ham radio. Yeah, now you can see the paintbrush. Paint. Did you toot? I heard that. Oh, nice. I need one. 
owner's manual. I need one of those. <laughs> I will personally buy that off of you. What? It's got the original on here. That's for the radio. See? It did have a bucket seat mm -hmm. option. I was right. It was for Mustangs. For the Mustang seat. No, they're different from the Mustang seat. Hardly. It's still in good condition, too. Yeah. I really need one of these. I wonder if I break this switch. No. Uh, left one doesn't. Oh, what the hell? It didn't work last time. The, yeah, the LED was bad. It just fixed itself. I wonder if the gauge lights work now. No, your gauge lights are still bad. I love it when stuff fixes itself. So we'd come across this old book that's logged with all the oil changes and the mileage. That's pretty cool. Ooh, what's it say? Mileage, 53,000, or 55,000. Sunday, 7801. Changed oil filter and air filter. Lubed few joints. Dad and Scott changed the coolant. That's pretty cool. That's the cool. The original sticker's still like super readable. So is mine. Not that nice. The VIN isn't. <laughs> so I realized I forgot to film my outro for that video, but that's the 71 F250 that Remy did buy. Um, that's that's going to be a really cool project for her. The whole deal with that truck is she can actually tow a race car with it. It's kind of cool because she has a 71 Pinot race car, and that's a 71 Ford, which is really cool. And it also is a 71 Ford that kind of matches my truck and so I kind of made the inside joke saying my truck got a girlfriend so I think that's kind of cool but yeah like I said my truck's name is Mater essentially so mine's the dude and then we haven't really found a name for Remy's truck comment below what you think that truck's name should be I think that'd be kind of funny to see what people think so thank you guys for watching it all the way through if you did uh, let me know what you think about the truck down below and I'll see you guys in the next video thanks for watching